setting it up. Hang it or Hogan scale.
our base in Marietta, Pennsylvania. Man, I want to thank you so much for what you're doing. You are helping us honor the past and how chaplaincy was done, even as we move forward into the future with a new method of accomplishing that same mission. But to see you, to see Dominique and those who are helping with this project has been fun to see. It's nice to see so much support going on for you. But from the bottom of our hearts, we want to say thank you because that stuff wouldn't be moving, you know, without you. And so we're glad that somebody appreciates what it is. A lot of work has been put into those and a lot of people uh, remember those things that are going on. So even as we change things up, it's because we want to go to where the people are. We want to reach the trucking community in a different way. And so we just wanted to say thank you so much. And for anybody out there, you know, chaplaincy services through TFC Global are available to you. If you go to the website, tfcglobal.org, you can contact us that way. If you need to talk to somebody, we'll make sure that a chaplain can get a hold of you. But guys, thank you so much. This is so much fun to see. I can't wait to see that thing back on the road. Hey, what's up guys? I figure I'd do a little voiceover work right here. So I left Butte, Montana a little bit ago, and to be honest, if you guys follow my channel any length of time, you know I'm a big fan of industrial history and railroading. Now the last few times I've come through here, I noticed a few things. Maybe you guys did too, or maybe you drove past it, just like I did for many, many years, and never noticed it. Now, a while back, I discussed the rail beds that were next to Interstate 90, and correctly, one of my subscribers had said, hey, that's the old former Milwaukee Road. I never knew that. But then I saw a couple things as I drove by here a few times and noticed where the old rail beds were and where the new rail beds are. Most of it is still the original bed from back way back when, when they built the original railway. Now, you got to consider, back in the day, the Union Pacific built the Transcontinental Railroad. It was many years later, Milwaukee Road basically did the same thing from Chicago, Wisconsin, all the way out here to the West Coast, basically parallel Interstate 90. Now, take a look to the left. See it? Right there. What's that? It's a ridgeline. What is it doing there? Well, as I've gone back and forth quite a few times, I've noticed that there's railroad tracks on there. Now, if you look at it close, you notice that it hasn't been used in a long, long time. And I am curious as to when the last train ran on that. Now, modern day, it's BNSF. It's not Milwaukee Road as they've gone under. And they've rerouted the railroad to where it's less of a grade. You can still see the rail bed up there on the ridge to the left. 
It's always going to be a little left on this site. Now we're getting ready to climb up the mountain pass as the railroad trains back in the day once did. I've often wondered, is the grade get steeper? What that must have sounded like in the old days with steam locomotives working hard to get up there in the summertime. Here coming up, there's a bridge. It's still there. Check that out. A little tighter view. And a bridge is still there. Heck of a curve. That old rail bed is a windy, twisty path that parallels Interstate 90. So we're a little bit east of Butte, Montana. And uh, now I set the cameras up, obviously. This angle specifically was to catch the railroad. See the erosion right there by that one lone tree? Yep. It's coming down, little by little. I set the cameras up on purpose to specifically catch those rail beds. Now the audio is the rear-facing camera that's facing the CL9000 Ford that I got off of TFC Global that we saw a little bit ago. And of course the forward view, so you see what's going on. Now we're off to the side again. Just trying to catch what's to be seen. And I'm not really seeing it right now, so it must be deeper in the woods. Keep climbing up. Oh, look at it on the left. You see it? The erosion? There it is. Just winding along, just like the road does. That must have been cool to see back in the day. And we're just sort of left over here. This guy's changing the tire. on the top there. See it? Right on the grass line. You see it up, up, up high? I don't know about you boys and girls. I find this fascinating. Gotta admit, that's one heck of a view up there, huh? Coming around the bend. And let's take another look to the left. Yep, right there. Let's take a look left again. Around the corner. Could you imagine being like in old Pullman cars coming through there real slow? You know, before the highway was here. Can you imagine what that view was like? It'd be something. And I got a downshift. Just about to the top. We'll look over. And yeah, the rail bed is actually between those two signs right there. So now we're a little higher in elevation than the rail bed that is. Not by much. It's down in there somewhere. Looking for it. Man, look at it. Look how far you can see now. Continental Divide. That's right. Big hill right there, ain't it? And shortly we'll be on our way down. Tourist railroads like uh, 
one that's in South Dakota, the 1880 train. It's a landlocked locomotive, chase style. And uh, he just goes back and forth over the big hills. And it does really well. I often wonder how cool or even possible would it be to put an old steam locomotive on that line, go back and forth from Butte, go over the mountain pass and come back. It's like a tourist attraction right here on the truck pull-off. Maybe I'll do a video if I ever come back east. Sorry, come back west in the daytime. Because right there's a parking area. And right there's the, the rail bed right past it. If I ever get by here in the daytime heading west, I'll have to do a video on that on the railroad channel. I don't know if it's showing up on the video real well, but the tracks are still there. But I've often thought about how cool would it be to run an excursion train up and down the pass like that? Would it make money? Just something I think about. Some of those things I wish I could do, but I don't have any money to kind of fun. But give me somebody, would. Coming up here is a little feature. I didn't notice this. I don't even think you can see it if you're heading west. You only see it if you're heading east. You can look to the left. You see it yet? Yeah, there it is. Oh, look at that. I don't see any tracks, but maybe they're still there. But there's a tunnel right there. See it right there? Right to the left. Right there. It'd be a road just below. We'll look to the left, but we're not going to see the tunnel. You'll see where it pops out. Curving around to the left. There we are. You can see the rails right on top of that ridge. Cut into that rock. out over there and hangs a hard left and uh, we're gonna hang hard left too because we got the same problem down in the valley you can see it way up on the top of that ridge and now we're obviously on a descent down coming down the hill kind of quick, but I'm also only hauling a bobtail. See? That's not much of a load. And around the bend we go. Check to the left again. Look at that valley. Wow! You don't even see that old rail bed. He must be way out there. I guess we went to the right of the valley, he went way to the left of the valley. That is something, huh? I don't see anything. It's kind of way out there. There, just can't see it. Think about it, boys and girls. How many times have we driven by here and never noticed it? If you go by here, I'm willing to bet you. You'll notice it from now on. I pointed it out to you.
there it is up on the top. See your little erosion right around that, that about center screen right now. Starting to swerve back this direction and then cut back out to the left. Hammer down truck ride. Yeah, but you can see it to the left again. Yeah, right there. Come around a corner. It's a pretty sharp turn. That's damn near a 90 degree turn. That must be amazing. That must have been one scenic ride. Well, the CL9000 is still on its way home. On with the rest of the video.